Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I decided that it is finally the time that we met and we discussed the channel together a little bit. Before that, my name is Behnam Ismaili. I am currently a postdoc at the University of Uraskula, Finland, and I got my PhD in 2021 under supervision of Professor Piotr Haiwaj from the University of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. So what is Young Majors all about? And what is its present? What is its future? Let's talk a little bit about that one. Okay, and as would be expected from me, I have made a slideshow for this. Okay, where we stand as of November, 2022. The channel started back in 2021 at the peak of online teachings and COVID restrictions. At the time I thought, okay, this COVID will be over at some time. And despite all the hate and the fatigue regarding Zoom meetings, after it's all over, the content that is produced and recorded at the, at the moment might be useful in future. And that's how I decided under encouragement of my friends and my family to start uploading videos. Initially, the name of the channel was Graduate Math Solved, but then we switched to Young Measures, what Young Measures means at the end of this video, so hang around. The vision, though, never changed, and that was to help with professional research mathematics or help with transition to professional research mathematics with graduate students specifically in mind. And how do we achieve this? There are two parts to it. So far, I have only been active in the part one to provide, to put out quality mathematics content. Uh, we focus on rigor and precision of the material we present. Uh, we don't want to copy paste taste books on there. And the topics we cover are quite current and um, active research is going on right today on them. And you are the judge to decide if the content I have uploaded so far meets these criteria. The second branch, the second front of our fight would be to help with professional development that part is where I have not uploaded even a single video yet, uh, but the goal is to introduce tools for research, um, how you learn about hot topics, current research, about finding jobs, about teaching, whether you are a graduate student or a, a more senior uh, faculty member uh, giving talks, that may be a trivial thing for some, for others, it's a nightmare. So what tools are there available for them? Some advice maybe. Okay, but let's first talk about the past of the channel. So far, there are about 100 videos and the topics we've covered include metric spaces, just their basic definitions and examples of them, uh, a more serious playlist, was dedicated to Hausdorff measures, their construction, uh, the motivation behind them and their properties, about 10 videos there. Then we dived into area formula, doing a very thorough investigation of the small issues uh, associated with it. We did a complete proof, actually maybe two complete proofs of that and um, for all Lipschitz functions. Then we talked about co-area formula. Well, talk is uh, too much of understatement. We, again, proved a rigorous uh, proof of uh, the co-area formula. Heisenberg groups, uh, this although just very introductory. Then a 12 video playlist on curves, both in metric spaces and in Euclidean spaces, uh, talking about uh, speed of curves, length of the curves, and many more. The latest videos I've uploaded um, talk about generalizations of the famous Cantor's one-third construction, uh, but uh, we talked about more delicate constructions with varying Hausdorff dimensions. That place can continue. 
the oldest videos I uploaded uh, were exercises in advanced calculus. So this star also in the future slides will mean it, the content is specifically uh, aiming at graduate students. To follow that material, some ideas I have are to, in geometric measure theory, to talk about rectifiable sets in more detail. I've defined them, I've mentioned them in other videos, but I've never really uh, dealt with them in detail. We can talk about projection theorems, about uh, Besikovic sets, Kaya sets, uh, fractals, more general than counter sets is another possibility. My research in graduate school focused on this one, Lipschitz maps into metric spaces. There's a lot we can say about Lipschitz maps into arbitrary metric spaces, amazingly, and I can talk about those. And uh, we can also talk about or even present almost a course on measure theory, but a brand of it that is um, customized for the purposes of geometry and analysis. In analysis, we can talk about Sobolev and BV functions in Euclidean spaces. We can talk about them on metric spaces. That is a hot theory developed since late 90s. It's very new, but it's also very uh, topical at the moment. Uh, degree theory is one of my favorites. I know a few things about it I can talk about. Uh, or maybe we can uh, take it slower and we go back to differential geometry and Riemannian manifolds because they are the underpinning objects in uh, geometric measure theory. And at least the ideas from there are very often used in research on geometric measure theory. And uh, we can even further go back and talk about multivariable differential calculus from partial derivatives to inverse function theorem, um, implicit function theorem and whatnot. Of course, we can add a lot to this list. Uh, one of my favorite topics that I'm learning myself, I've been learning in the past year is about quasi-conformal maps can come to them from complex analysis, or you can develop them very independently with geometric uh, approach. And uh, all of this is just me thinking about myself doing this. Uh, of course, it's biased, it's all geometry analysis. If in future I get some colleagues, they can start doing uh, other stuff, algebraic geometry, maybe algebraic topology and, um, and many other subfields in mathematics. If you really want to see such stuff, let me know in the comments so that I can think about uh, finding the right people for doing so. Okay, and uh, remember this is just mission one, to provide quality mathematics content. Our second mission was to help with professional development. Let's think about our job as mathematicians. What do we do? What does a mathematician do? Well, we do research. Maybe that's the first thing that comes to mind. And uh, how do you keep up to date in research? How do you know the latest things that have been done in a particular uh, question or conjecture. How do you write a paper once you have some results? How do you write the introduction to a paper? How do you choose a journal to submit a paper to? How do you give talks? I mentioned this already. How do you referee a paper? And etc. So as a young mathematician and when you do these things for the first time, all of these are important and difficult questions. The other aspect of our job is as teachers. So how do you plan out a course? How do you handle difficult situation? How do you motivate students? How do you create a productive classroom culture? Uh, how do you manage your time between research and teaching? We also mentor as we become more senior, uh, we mentor PhD students, but before that even, we can uh, be in groups where we, maybe as postdocs, for example, are mentors for undergraduate students. What is undergraduate research any, anyway? And uh, many more questions. We have 
or will it begin soon to have administrative duties? We serve on uh, committees, we serve on um, deciding on applications for new students. Also, we seek new jobs, we seek new funding resources, we apply for grants and whatnot. How do you write a grant proposal? Um, how do you interview uh, for a job? How do you bargain for a salary? All of them, very difficult, important questions. And uh, when you do these things for the first time, they are extra difficult. I personally remember that writing a research statement was a pain when I did it for the first time. I had draft 14, draft 15, draft 16. I went back to my advisor and he would just say, you know, that's exactly not what you should be doing. And then I was glad that he always gave me honest opinions. So, yeah. And the, the thing that is curious is that all of this are not taught in an organized way. I am not aware of courses for graduate students talking about uh, how to look for jobs or how to... Uh, well, we had some help, some workshops about teaching, but for example, when and at what point does a mathematician learn to become a PhD advisor? Is there a course about take this course and then you will learn how to be an advisor for a PhD student? I'm not aware of that. So basically every mathematician is left out in the wild to figure things out for themselves. And maybe this is not the ideal way of doing it any longer. And that the, if we put some energy in providing uh, help with these, then we can save some time for the new and upcoming mathematicians so that they can put their energy more on the, on the more productive and useful uh, parts of their jobs rather than figuring, figuring out the small technicalities. Okay, and Young Measures, this channel hopes to create some, at least, helpful content about these topics. Of course, this is a huge undertaking to uh, try to cover all of these. I don't have the necessary information about this, the necessary time and effort, and um, but we have to start somewhere, right? So. I personally have tried to look for stuff on YouTube regarding these and there was no such content. So I'm thinking maybe we are the first to produce one and then uh, maybe hopefully more people will follow that. If you are aware of, by the way, other resources regarding this aspect of our job, please mention them in the comments for many others to benefit from. Okay, how can you help in other ways. Number one, subscribe to Young Measures. Um, that's a small act, but it has huge impact. It uh, triggers the YouTube algorithm to suggest the channel and uh, to keep me motivated and going. Comment on the videos. Um, that can help me to customize uh, the level of details I provide in the videos. Uh, even the choice of topics, you can influence that by a lot. Commenting on this very video will be very important for me because uh, as I showed you, there's so many paths in front of me and which one I chose can be affected by uh, your opinions and your feedback. Consider sharing my videos on social media, on your website, give, giving a link to somewhere. And uh, of course, you're welcome to write an email to me at this address or to my physical mail address, which you can find on my website. Okay, but what does Young Measures mean? Well, there are two uh, meanings to this. Number one, uh, those are young mathematicians. That would be me and you. So. We are mathematicians and we are young. Well, in heart at least. So young measures are you. But also young was a 
prominent mathematician, and he discovered, he introduced what are now called Young measures. Um, it's quite a complicated thing to explain. I have not completely grasped them myself yet. Hopefully in future when I do, I will make one video about what are Young measures. But until then, keep watching, keep commenting, and uh, please provide your feedback down on this video right now. Thank you so much and see you.